Thank you for asking me to talk about veterinary services involvement in One Health. As most of us know, One Health is the concept that the health of people, animals, and ecosystems are closely linked. The concept promotes and encourages collaboration across multiple disciplines and agencies at all levels. The goal, in short, is to optimize human, animal, and environmental health. This concept has gained su support domestically and internationally. More and more organizations recognize the value of One Health for preventing and controlling disease. However, the concept of One Health isn't new. Veterinary services, the wider veterinary community, and animal industries have long applied the principles of One Health to protect animal and human health. Look no further than two of our early major programs, tuberculosis and brucellosis. However, factors that affect the emergence of diseases are changing. Human demographics and behavior, agricultural production, and international travel and commerce provide new challenges in disease prevention and control. For instance, over the past three decades, 75% of emerging human infectious diseases have been zoonotic. The majority of these originated in wildlife. Just think about severe acute respiratory syndrome and the Nipah and Ebola viruses. Cornerstone of One Health is enhanced coordination among the public, animal, and environmental health sectors for disease surveillance detection, prevention, and control. The Animal Plant Health Inspection Service, of which VS is a part, has become a dedicated partner in improving the global health of people, animal, and ecosystems. We've worked with many agencies and international organizations on One Health issues. I know that several of you on this call are also involved in the One Health pilot projects and activities in your states. These projects provide a great opportunity for APHIS and veterinary services. They allow our field personnel to interact closely with the states and other partners, such as public health veterinarians and USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service. In connection with this effort, APHIS is co-chairing a One Health Joint Working Group with FSIS to implement One Health principles at the technical level. VS is also making One Health a cornerstone of our VS 2015 initiative. This initiative embodies our current and future plans for safeguarding the health of people, animals, and the environment. The VS 2015 One Health emphasizes problem solving across disciplines and at all levels. Our 2015 vision says that VS will provide leadership for the animal health component of One Health. VS is the nation's recognized animal health leader. We continue to seek ways to leverage our skills to meet the approaching health demands of the 21st century. To this end, we've established an interim VS One Health Coordination Office. The office is seeking opportunities to implement the VS One Health Strategic Plan and identifying key barriers and possible options for overcoming these barriers. It serves as a coordination point for VS One Health activity. As part of our 2015 One Health focus, last spring I announced an opportunity for VS employees to participate in short-term personal developmental assignments in One Health. These assignments were part of the VS 2015 pilot project. They were meant to focus on activities that promote interdisciplinary approaches involving human, animal and environmental health. I encourage VS employees to work with their supervisors to create their own One Health developmental assignments. I'm happy to report that many of you did just that, creating opportunities to work with alongside our partners in FSIS, Wildlife Services, the Food and Drug Administration, Customs and Border Protection, and state public health agencies. The VS management team and I encourage you to, to continue to explore new opportunities in your approaches to One Health. A little later, you'll see some examples of a few of these projects. The VS 2015 One Health Working Group also developed a pilot project to explore the use 
of VS assessment teams to respond to and support requests for VS expertise, experience, and infrastructure in situations where animals may affect health at the animal-human environmental interface. Teams will be formed in response to requests for help from state and federal One Health partners in responding to health incidents involving animals. The teams will work with these partners to investigate, summarize, analyze, and assess the implications of the One Health situation and recommend additional actions. But planning for One Health isn't only occurring within VS. It's also happening on the departmental level. To help USDA coordinate its One Health planning efforts with other federal agencies, Secretary Vilsack created a USDA One Health multi-agency coordination group. This group encourages sharing of ideas about how we work on health, food safety, and environmental issues. It also finds opportunities to optimize departmental resources and ensures timely decisions to combat diseases and promote health. USDA plans to use this group and other forums to develop joint project proposals with our One Health partners. Obviously, there's a lot of activity and energy around One Health. VS is excited to be at the center of that activity. The needs of animal agriculture are always changing. Those needs mean we have to adapt to global health changes with a, with a One Health approach. We are committed to working with our state, industry, and other partners in building on past successes in safeguarding American agriculture by further incorporating One Health principles and activities into the framework of our agency's efforts. We are also committed to expanding our mission to address the complex health relationships among humans, animals, and our environment. One Health activities are occurring every day throughout veterinary services. We will need your continued commitment in these activities as well as your willingness to participate in new One Health partnerships and projects. You will play an important role in helping VS. We cannot succeed in fulfilling our One Health mission without our dedicated field staff. Thank you.